I'm a musician in the country music genre. I've been lucky enough to have uh, my music distributed you know, across Canada um, with Royalty Records and EMI for this last album, so it, things, are, things are good. I'm a spokesperson for uh, Cats and Dogs International. Uh, I've been actually with them for about two years, and uh, so what we do is we go down to uh, Mexico and uh, we uh, try to prevent the pet overpopulation down there through education and sterilization. It was a little bit different this time because we had some CFL players come down. Um, and that, that was really cool to have, even we kind of added a whole different element um, to everything and, and trying to get a different involvement, you know, different uh, people looking at what we're doing. And, and all the guys were great and it was funny to see all these big guys in there, you know, picking up little puppies. This is Stella. This is Isla. Uh, they're from Mexico. They almost look like they could be related. They probably are related, cousins. Dakota, and that's Dakota. I've had two dogs for a long time, um, Dakota and Gizmo. And then uh, when I went down for the first clinic, I brought back a dog named Stella, a rescue dog. She was from the founder of the dump. And I was just gonna foster her. Um, and then turned it to be a long-term foster. I wanted to keep her, couldn't give her up. So, um, and she's been great. And uh, just this time here, we brought uh, a dog called Isla that we found on Isla Maharis. And uh, she is actually going to be fostered for a while. And then uh, we did find her a home. Um, but I'm still getting pretty attached to her right now, too. And she's fitting in with my dogs. They all love each other. So it's going to be tough. Fun at the dog park. Yay. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Mexico doesn't have a means to take care of this problem. I mean, it, they, they can barely take care of the people there. Um, so we had an opportunity, you know, through Air Transat, which has, uh, you know, made it possible and affordable for us to fly down there. Um, you know, otherwise without them we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, so we found a way to go down there and help out because um, somebody has to do it. Everyone's always traveling to Mexico and stuff like that, so it's a good way for, uh, for people to just go down to vacation and, and, and tour um, to get involved. In, in, so, you know, if they are animal lovers, they'd, they'd love this for sure. I like to see it working, you know. Um, you know, I mean, you know what's working, but when you go down there and you're doing, we, we've targeted an area uh, called Bonfield, uh, right outside of Cancun, it's a poor area. Um, and you can actually notice the difference now. You know, there's not as many dogs and cats roaming the streets. And uh, as long as you're making a difference, I mean, uh, it's, it's all good at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, it's always selfish to say it makes you feel good, but I mean, if, if you love doing it, I mean, yeah, it's good, it's all good.